You were asking about a tractor points controlling density in a population 2D. And I have a version that's a little different than an attractor point. It might even be more straightforward, but I don't know if this works for you. You can see um, if it does or not. Here is four points. They've been containered in this point, drawing circles, uh, getting a boundary from those circles, and doing a population populate geometry instead of a populate 2D because that works for circles. You have to get the boundary of the circle and do that, but it works basically the same way as the populate 2D, which is down here, which is working for this rectangle, right? Like I've created a rectangle here um, and it's populating 2D with these numbers. So, um, so basically you can come in and make that denser and make this either more or less dense, however you want. So that's a pretty simple version. I've got the circles small enough where they're not going sort of outside the boundary of the um, of the rectangle for this one. So the next one has a little bit more flexibility in that you can change the circle sizes. So if I unhide these guys, oops, unhide, and then um, that one and that one. Now this works, you can have different size circles, but you can see the dif difficulty is that some of the circles are throwing points outside, right, of the, and then you get the density is the same for all the circles no matter how big they are so the density changes you know based on that so you know it just depends on what you want to do um, and if you have a problem with the points coming outside of the circle there is a way to call those um, so this last one is probably the most flexible right so you can control the size of the circles individually and you can control the density individually Right, and then, so let me open this guy up. Oops. Right, and let's get rid of the boundaries because they're a little. Right, so you've got this guy and you can come in and control, you know, the individual densities of the circles, you know, as they overlap and all that kind of stuff, but you still have these guys coming on the outside. So um, to get rid of those, if you wanted them just to be in here, what you can do is you can cull the ones that fall outside of the curve. So basically what you can do is I've merged all of the points inside the, the geometry of the circles and there's a little in curves so all these points that are inside the circles, it tests to see if it's inside this rectangle, right? And what it outputs is a series of zeros um, and ones, right? So zeros and twos, um, zero if it's inside and one if it's outside and one, zero if it's outside, one if it's coincident, two if it's inside. So it creates a mask and what you can do is go through and do this little a equals b or a does not equal b so if a equals 2 right then you can cull the original list of points based on that 2 right so let me hide these guys right And if I open up the call, preview that, you can see there's the call of everything inside. And if I do the not equals, it does everything outside, right? Okay. So you can look at these with panels and see a little bit more how that works. So this is point in curves. This is point in curves. So this is single curve. This is multiple curve. This is just a panel with the number two in it going into there. And then once you have that, you can take the original popula populate 2D and merge that with the cold circles and you get your final 
me get rid of that. You get your final group, right, that's inside the rectangle, and everything should be good with the world. So um, that's an option. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do a um, screenshot of this definition and send it to you so you can rebuild it.